Hello. Ooh. There goes that oh. suitcase. <laughs> suitcase fail. Okay, hello, <laughs> good morning. Hi. Welcome. We have a birthday girl right over here. So for her birthday, I brought her to the Orlando airport. Thanks, that's a sweet present. And where are we going? We are heading to Jamaica. Yes, so we're gonna do a little getaway to Jamaica, start the, the birthday festivities right. So everybody, do me a favor, go into the comments and wish MJ a happy birthday. Aww. That'll, that'll be a good gift, yeah? Yes, definitely. Cool, cool. All right, well, I don't think we have to do anything. We don't have to check our bags. Just... It feels really weird. I'm not gonna lie. And there's no restrictions, no tests needed. So I think I... we'll just go through security. I didn't even pack masks. Let's go through security. <laughs> Could it be that easy? We went through security and I think it took a minute. Maybe, maybe less than a minute. Maybe. We're at the lounge. We've got little breakfast items. Bagel and butters, potatoes and eggs, and a cappuccino and a latte. Can we admire that this is the earliest I've been up in a very, very long time? It is. It just became 6 o'clock. No. <laughs> European flights go at night, so we usually leave like around 6 or 7 p.m. This one, 6 a.m. It's a little rough. We, we need our coffees and our stuff, and we'll check back in on the plane. All right, well, it really was that easy. It really was. I, I guess traveling is going back to what it was. Which yeah. was nice, but we didn't really do anything. We just showed up and went to the lounge and then came on the plane. It was really odd, like no additional documentation. I feel like we didn't have 300 checks of our passport. Literally, yeah, no stickers on our passport either. Right? Gosh. We're on JetBlue today and looks like we've got a two hour flight or something like that. I will be napping the whole time. I don't know what you're doing. You need to nap. I'm, I'm not too sure what I'm going to do, but we will see you all in Jamaica. See you we have arrived. Check out this beautiful view this is stunning it is nice and warm yeah yeah i would i would agree it's it's hot actually the, the hat is on i mean i don't know i mean i think i just messed up and wore black yes and black shorts yeah. and black shoes some feet is hot too I, but we're, we're feeling tropical we're feeling tropical i took a nap i slept the whole time on the plane so i'm ready I'm ready. ready. And we got we got we got wristband. You We've know been we, branded. We, we love a good wristband that gets us stuff. So That's right. There there it is. That's right. We've got a list of VIP items available to us as diamond members. We shall take advantage. Um, and I think first order is breakfast. Yeah, let's get some breakfast done and then we'll see what we're going to get into today. I, there's lots of options. There's activities. We got to make reservations for dinner. Yep. And we've got some some folks with us today. Oh, look look who we got here. All right, give us a rundown. So many options for breakfast. It's literally all down the the side of the restaurant. But I just picked a little something because I know we're gonna be eating all day. I've got some corned beef hash, some bacon. I've got different cheeses, some pineapple, some pear and a chocolate chip pancake. Yeah. Yummies. I have a French toast with guava butter, corned beef hash and eggs, pineapple, pear, and a guava Danish for my Danish friends. Well, our room isn't ready yet, but we dropped our stuff off at Uncle Vince's room. Yes. And we're gonna head to where? Hip Street. We're gonna go where Margaritaville is and check out some of the shops and see the sights and sounds. So 
So note for all of you out there, there's no Ubers here. None. So taxis own the world. And you know when taxis are the only thing you have, they're kind of pricey. So we're spending 35 US to get into town and we got to do the same coming back. And that was also the charge coming from the airport. So now we're going to go past the airport down to uh, that area, Hip Street. And there's a lot to do there. So we'll probably hang out a few hours and then start making our way back. Yeah, let's see what it's like. guys from the hotel oh, yeah. i'm the chef oh awesome. from the oh. hilton yes. oh very cool yeah, nice. my, my day off today man oh, nice. <laughs> so what are you guys doing around today shopping or just looking around just, just getting yeah. a drink at margaritaville and listen when you guys gonna shop around you must shop with the jamaican Sorry I got a little jumpy there for a moment. We were trying to record and, well, the, the hustlers are out. Man, like full force. They were they were everywhere trying to get us to buy shirts and and there's nothing wrong with that. It, yeah, it's cool. I love it. Uh, the deals were out of control. They were offering us, I think it was eight t-shirts for $20. Right, Man. I don't know <laughs> if that was just a lure or a trap, but I will say one of the guys, so we mentioned before that we got these wristbands. Well, now everyone on the island knows that we're tourists. They see us like a mile ahead. And one guy came up and was like, oh, I recognize you from the hotel. I'm the chef. Like, all right, all right. But we stopped at Margaritaville. We had a drink. I had a red stripe. I had a pina colada. The DJ was playing some great music. Um, and it seemed like a really cool hangout spot. There was uh, like a a trampoline out in the water. There was a catamaran that was just hanging out there with a bunch of folks. Um, what else did they have? They had like those floaties where people were just jumping in the water and then they were just laying there and sunbathing. Pretty cool scene, pretty cool scene. I bet you it gets super packed at night. That's gotta be one of the spots for sure. Probably. So we're here walking around Hipster Street? No, Hip Street. Oh, Hip, hip Street, not or Hipster. Or Hip Street area is where we're at. So it does extend quite a bit. We're actually making our way to a new park that, that, that was just built. And it seems like it's pretty spread out. So this is where like the touristy spots are, the souvenir shops. And our taxi driver actually showed us around quite a bit and showed us like the, the main square. What did I say was Sam Street, maybe square? Something like that. So yeah, so we're gonna try and walk a little bit further that way. It is very, very hot. We made it to Harmony Beach Park. This is a newer park, according to our taxi driver. Supposedly, but we needed a permit to be able to film here. I mean, we had a GoPro and our Nikon, so we couldn't use it, so they're backed up. We're on the iPhone. I will try to remove as much wind noise as I can, but <laughs> you still had to see it, though. Was it worth the walk? Yeah, it's nice. It's, it's just beautiful. really, really hot so if you do come here you got to be hydrated bring some water all i've had today <laughs> is a red stripe a red stripe some coca-cola and like four coffees oh and a red bull when we left the house oh my gosh should we go check out the water <laughs> oh 
I'll to mention, if you want to be able to film here and you want to go get the permit, it's three thousand Jamaican dollars. It, it's been a while since we checked in. I've never stayed at an all-inclusive, so it was a little overwhelming, and I took a nap. But now we're here at this silent party, and we have these headphones. There's two DJs to choose from. And they're playing totally different music. So one station has like reggae and what you'd expect in Jamaica and then the other one has like, like a bunch of hip-hop hip -hop and yeah. such and when you put the headphones on you're in a club you're taken away to this completely different place and then without it people are just kind of <laughs> hopping around and glowing and it's funny because you could be in the same group and be listening to two different songs at the same time so everybody's kind of moving around and randomly you'll hear people singing <laughs> so I, I've never experienced this before if any of you have let me know in the comments where you've experienced it and what you thought of this silent party thing every now and then people will break out into song it sounds more like Gregorian chants really but <laughs> Wow, okay, well, I, I guess, I guess silent party continues. Good morning. I am up early and I am going to go get ready to do a quick workout, but I wanted to show you what the property looked like before everybody got up. So I came outside with um, the big patio. This is where we had our silent party last night. But let me turn this around and show you what's happening right now. Nice and quiet right now. The sun is out. Everybody's preparing for what the day is gonna look like. So let me go ahead and take you around property before I get to the gym. All right, when we first arrived, we had this view of this beautiful pool and of course the ocean, all these cabanas over on the side. And honestly, I thought that was it. And I was like, oh, this is beautiful. But then we came out and started walking around yesterday and this property is huge. So let me take you around and show you where everything is. I also saw a list of activities for today. Um, so let's see if I remember where everything is. So the first one is the Seaside Grill. So they do have food that you can get here by pool, by the pool. The area that I just walked by it's called Fresh. That's where breakfast is served every day. That's the one restaurant that doesn't require reservations in the evenings. Then notice some of these balconies are really pretty on the bottom floor. Walking, we see that there's the activity center. There's a couple of things going on here today. It looks like they're gonna have different games. And then there's two different paths that you can take since there's people this way. Let me go this way. Over there, they do have the spa. And it looks like that's the outside branch because there's also one inside. Cute little walkways over here. Check this little feature right here. So pretty. Talk about like great pictures. There's the wedding gazebo. There was a, we were walking by yesterday and there was a, a rehearsal dinner going on downstairs over in one of the, the private halls. 
and gosh, so many bachelorette parties going on. No bachelor parties, but definitely bachelorette. Great place to do that here. Let's check out. So here, we've got the Sugar Mill Falls. They have the gazebo, the spa, the kids club, the tennis courts, rum runner slide, and the river slide. So they do have a lazy river. Let's see, I'm not gonna go all the way up, but let me go up this. Wow. And nobody's in here just yet. Pool's really big. We've got a slide over on this side. Who can ask for better weather? This is really nice. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna go back over this way and keep walking. Yesterday afternoon was pretty overcast, but it never did actually rain. This is where we had lunch yesterday. This is mangoes, it's more casual food options. All outdoor seating. Oh, what's happening there? This is Moonstone. At night, this became Angie's Barbecue. So this is where we had reservations last night. Claims that the best jerk chicken was had there. I'm not usually a fan of like wings. I don't know if you guys are. Um, I actually opted for the brisket. It was tasty. And they were super nice. All right, let me see. Then it keeps going, you guys. I'm gonna walk out now to this section. So this is more of the private beach area. So there's some outdoor seating area for the restaurant here and here. I'm all ready to run on the treadmill, so I've got my sneakers on. Hopefully I won't get too much sand in my sneakers. All right, and that just gives you another sneak peek of what's happening here. So the property's large. So he's taking out the seaweed. That's what's happening. He's taking out the seaweed from here and it looks like moving it over to the other beach. Okay, so quick peek in there. I'm gonna go ahead and get a pocket in and I'll catch you very soon. All right, so I just finished my workout. I don't know if anybody else gets red like me. I look like a tomato, but I am standing under this bed that feels ah, so good. It's really nice. Um, inside the fitness center, they do have signs to limit the time on the equipment to 30 minutes to be mindful of other guests. And there have been people coming in and out the whole 30 minutes that I was in there. I did get to enjoy uh, two different Peloton classes. I think I'm gonna go get some coffee first, head up to the room, get this day started. I'll see you guys soon.